Hey everyone, in this video, I'm going to introduce you to an amazing indicator on TradingView that has a really high degree of accuracy. To add this wonderful indicator to our chart, we just click on indicators and search for QQE. We're looking for QQE mod, which was created by this genius scripter. Once you add it, you'll see it appear below the chart. This indicator features a histogram that moves above and below the center line with bars that change color to red, blue, and gray. When the bars turn blue, it indicates increased buying pressure and a potential price increase. When they turn red, it shows increased selling pressure and a potential price decline. Most of the time when the histogram turns red or blue, the price either advances or declines accordingly, though the magnitude of the change can vary. Later in this video, I'll teach you a trading strategy to help filter out the bad signals and only pick the best ones You'll also see a white line, which represents the net pressure in the market and helps identify trends. When the white line is above zero, the market is trending up when it's below, the market is trending down. For example, if the white line is below the center line, it indicates a downtrend, but the histogram might show short-term momentum changes within that trend. It's important to note that not every center line crossover signals a reversal. Now, let me show you how to use this indicator in practice. As I mentioned, not all signals are worth trading, so we need to filter out the bad ones. For instance, you might see a signal that suggests a decline, but in reality, it's not a good trading opportunity. Instead, we want to take signals that lead to significant price changes. To do this, we need to identify the overall market trend because trading in the direction of the trend generally yields better results. You can use price action analysis or indicators like the MACD moving average convergence divergence to determine the trend. You adjust the MACD settings to a fast length of 100, a slow length of 200, and a signal smoothing of 50. Then remove the MACD and signal lines from the style tab since we don't need them. With these settings, the MACD will help us identify the overall trend green for an uptrend and red for a downtrend. When the MACD histogram is green, we only take buy signals. When the histogram turns blue and ignore sell signals when it turns red. Conversely, when the MACD histogram is red, we only take sell signals and ignore buy signals. It's best to enter a trade after seeing two consecutive bars of the same color. Keep in mind that false signals can still occur, especially during market reversals or when the market is ranging not trending. This strategy works best in trending markets and can generate false signals in ranging markets. To avoid false signals during range markets, you can use indicators like the ADX Average Directional Index. When the ADX line is below 20, it indicates a non-trending market. So you should avoid trading during these times. However, using the ADX might also mean missing some good opportunities at the beginning of trends. Remember, no indicator or strategy guarantees 100% accurate signals and losing trades are always part of the game. It's crucial to manage your risk properly. I have a guide on this and the link is in the description of this video. Check it out to learn how to manage your risk and money effectively plus proper position sizing. That's it for this video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment and I'll respond as soon as possible. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do so and hit the bell icon to get notifications for my new videos. See you in the next video and good luck with your trading.